All right, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now, if this is your first video you've ever watched, uh, at this point I have over 500, I think 530 videos on YouTube. So if you're a coach, you're a business owner, you want to get more clients, you want to make your business better, you are on the right video, all right? Um, you're on the right page. Make sure to subscribe if you have not done that yet. Um, today, I'm gonna show you three questions you should ask yourself all right, and when you do this, you will be able to watch your business improve daily, right? It will improve daily if you do these things, and let's get straight into it. All right, first thing that you need to know, um, every time I play that intro, uh, it always has my phone number there. Uh, every single day, coaches reach out to me. They ask questions about how to grow their business. I normally set up Zoom calls with coaches. So if you and I have never spoken before, I invite you, shoot me a text. Um, I'll shoot you over my schedule so we can have a 15 to 20 minute call. And that's a strategy call where I look at your business, I ask you questions, I see what you're doing, I see what you need help with, and I'll try to offer some insight. Um, I think it's valuable. A lot of coaches that uh, I've had that call with uh, those calls go great. So message me whenever you want, Monday through Friday. All right, don't do it at night. Don't do it on the weekends because <laughs> I won't respond. All right, so let's get into these three questions. So the first question that th this is just you as a coach. All right, so let's not even think about your business. Let's just think about you as a coach, all right? And write this down. It is what can I do as a coach to better serve my clients? right? A lot of coaches that are in this business, they don't ask that question to themselves. They're always thinking, well, how can I just grow my business? How can I get a higher volume of clients? How can I be more profitable? How can I be more successful? They're not keeping a close eye on their current clients and they're not trying to actively improve the customer experience. So what can you do to better serve your clients, right? And I'm not going to sit here and try to give you 5,000 different ways of how you can improve that, right? If you do your research on this channel, you'll find multiple ways to improve your relationship, improve your service. Um, all those things are already there, right? But that is a huge question to start with. And that is something you should ask yourself at the end of every week. Every Friday, just have an alarm that goes off, all right? And that goes off at 3 p.m. And it, get, it prompts you to ask yourself this question, so you can reflect on that week and say, you know what? I can do this, this, and this, and I need to implement this by Monday. And if you do that, every week your business gets better, right? By doing that one thing. And I see it too often. As coaches grow their business, their, their clients go like this, as far as the amount of clients that they have. And their customer service is going like this. It gets worse and worse. And that's because they don't have systems in place. Uh, they don't have high expectations for their clients. Um, they don't ultimately have a good service. And it's easy to lose track of clients because the service isn't, at, isn't quality. It's not at a high level. So this is one of those things. You know, when you ask yourself that question, right, you're forced to like stop what you're doing and just be like, gosh, I need to improve. And what can I get better at? And challenge yourself because no one's going, like at the end of the day, your clients aren't gonna say, yeah, uh, let's have a meeting every Friday and reflect on how your week went. And here's the three things you need to change about your business. Clients are not gonna do that, all right? You need to do it yourself. And that's good for you as just a coach, all right? And that bleeds into your business, all right? So as a coach, you should do that. If you have a staff of coaches, I would have a, a weekly Zoom meeting for 15 minutes and be like, hey guys, like here's a couple ideas that I have that I feel like we can implement going into Monday so we can improve and get better. What ideas do you guys have, right? So as a unit, every week you're improving your business. <clears throat> if you have a team of coaches, if you don't, if you're doing it by yourself, ask yourself that question, right? Doing that for five minutes is going to ultimately like make your customer experience a thousand times better, all right, long-term. And your business will follow. Like you're, you're going to end up making way more money in your business if you have a better product and you have better service, right? That's number one. Number two, 
All right. This is a fundamental question a lot of coaches don't ask themselves because a lot of coaches don't like to market. They don't like to sell. And here's what the question is. It is, what can I do as a business owner to get more clients, right? Now, at the time that this video is going out, I have a new product, right? I'm gonna pitch the crap out of this on YouTube coming up. And here's why, it's because like, I have so much conviction that if you go through this product, you are going to end up getting so many new clients. I don't care if you're introverted like me or if you're extroverted, does not matter. You will get so many new clients if you go through a new product. It's called 44 Ways to Get New Clients. And one of those ideas, just one of them, was responsible for three of my top clients that I worked with last year. Um, it, that one idea generated right around $250,000 of sales for them, right? So it's a no-brainer to go through that program, invest in yourself. Those are ideas that work for any coach. Um, and there are so many different tactics and strategies to get clients. But if you don't ask yourself that question, what can I do to get more clients? Well, you're just gonna have the same amount of clients that you currently have. And you can't grow a business that way. Because at the end of the day, you'll probably end up losing some of your customers and then you have to get clients. So every month, you should be getting new clients. Like every week, you should be getting new clients. So you gotta challenge yourself and be like, you know, what's working for me right now that I need to keep doing? What are some new ways I can market myself to build more authority in my area? How can I get more parents or more coaches or more people to know, like, and trust me so I can get more clients, right? That's a question you should always ask. A lot of coaches do not do that, which is why most coaches out there that are in this industry, their business stays stagnant and they hit a ceiling, right? They hit a ceiling. It's like their, their head's bumping up against this thing. Every month they lose people, then they replace them and they, they stay the same and they feel like they're capped out. The reality is if you run this like a real business, like you should be getting clients every single month. Um, and if you want to go check out that product, go to my website. Um, it should be up on there at this point. If it's not, uh, text me and I'll send you a link to it. All right. That's the second question. The third one. All right. This is such a great question to ask yourself. It's, are my clients really getting results? And if so, how can I track it better? Right now here, here's what I mean. Um, so for me, like I'm a soccer trainer, if you don't know that, all right. So how, like when, when I sit back and I look at, all right, all of my clients in, individually, how can I know that they're getting results? What are they doing when they're not with me to show me what, you know, what they're doing on their own? Uh, how can I track results with them to make sure that I know what we're doing is actually working, Right. And the, the money that their parents are investing into my program, like it's a good investment. Like, how do I know that? Well, it comes down to systems. It comes down to tracking. It comes down to accountability. There are a lot of different little moving pieces there. But if you don't know how to track your client's results, then two things happen. Number one, there's going to be drop off in your program because parents are paying you for results. Nothing else. All right. Uh, that's the first thing. The second is because there's going to be people that leave, you always have to replace them. And it's like this rat race of having clients leave, replacing them with someone else. And there's no long-term uh, clients that stay in your program because there's no results, right? Now, if you are able to track your results, right, your clients, obviously that's what they want, right? They're going to give you way more referrals. And number three, that helps you stand out amongst any competition that's in your area. Because I can assure you, coaches that are competitors in your area are not tracking results, right? And if you're part of my uh, consulting program, like I'm going to be releasing something that is, in, in my mind, it's going to be like the most copied thing in this industry <laughs> um, for the years to come. Because I know when, when a coach implements that into their business, their email track everything from A to Z. Uh, their clients are gonna have a better experience because of the how everything is tracked. 
and there's going to be a lot of reporting. Everything's going to be automated. I've been in the process of developing this over the past six months now. Um, and you know what? Like what I've noticed is because I track those things, my clients get better. They get better results and they refer more clients. And if my business is operating that way, I should be getting more clients all the time just from word of mouth. That's without even marketing, right? So again, let me repeat these three questions. What can I do as a coach to better serve my clients? That's number one. Number two, what can I do as a business owner to get more clients? If you're struggling to get new clients, go check out my new program, 44 Ways to Get New Clients. If you just do one of those, right, one of those ideas, <laughs> you will get, probably get a lot of clients, all right? And there's 43 other ones outside of those one, uh, outside of the one. Um, number three, are my clients getting results and how can I track it better? Like this comes down to you, you know, creating systems, polishing up your business, making your business look more professional, like actually treating your clients like you care, <laughs> right? And you're getting results all the time, then people are going to gravitate towards your program, right? And it's that simple. Like, and this is why, you know, I see a lot of coaches struggle in this area because like they're just focusing on training clients and they're spending all day long just training, just training over and over and over and over, right? And that's all they do. They don't have time to sit back and look at, well, are kids actually developing? How do we know that they're getting better? Are they playing better in their games? How do we know that they're playing better in their games? Like, What's the communi uh, communication like between you and the parent, you and the kid, right? There's a lot of little details in there. And when coaches don't have those systems in place, those clients often leave, right? And I, like I said, it becomes this rat race over and over and over. You're getting a new client, someone else goes out. Like, and it's, you can't grow your business that way. It's physically impossible, right? Physically impossible. So if you want to have systems in place, you want to uh, be able to track things, you want to have a better service uh, with your clients, and you want strategies to get more clients, all right, reach out to me, all right? I'm gonna post my phone number. It's gonna pop up right behind, right above my head, or to the left of my head. Um, so just text me at that number, all right? Text me there Monday through Friday, I will get back to you and I will set up a call, all right? Here's what I don't do. I don't sit here and text you back and forth for the next three months. I don't do that. When you send me a text, just introduce yourself and I'll say, hey, I can't wait to talk to you. Here's my schedule. Pick a time to talk. We'll talk on Zoom. I don't do phone calls. I'm very picky with how I talk to people. It's all done on Zoom. I record every call. I'll send you back the call if you want. Um, and that's how I can see how I can help you right? I can't help every single coach. I, I know that. Like my ego is very small. I cannot help every single person. I can only help those who are serious and committed about actually helping kids and, and creating great services. So that's it for this video. I hope this helps. Hit that subscribe button and shoot me a text if you want to chat.